<laughs> Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, it's been a while since I've been in front of the camera and it's been due to a lot of things. I've been really lazy, honestly. I'm not gonna make any excuses, but you know, I just haven't been in the mood to really get in front of the camera. But now I'm back. I have a really great video, a really great update for you guys. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So as you guys know, I'm a Sony A7S shooter. The camera came out in 2013 and you know, it's a great camera. I originally got it because I was falling in love with the video aspect of media creation and I was so immersed in just wanting to take videos and constantly record things instead of taking photos. So I went with a more video centric camera and you know, it's been doing great for me. And you know, I, I honestly can't say anything bad about this camera. Like, I mean, it is old, it doesn't shoot in 4K, but there are workarounds, obviously. If you guys don't know, I shoot with an Atomos recorder. Like I shoot with the Atomos Ninja V. I picked one up a couple months ago and it's been the best, honestly. I get 24 frames a second out of this camera in 4K now, so can't complain. But I wanted to get into more photocentric things. Um, I wanted to get back to the roots of why I started picking up my camera, which was you know, to take photos, capture moments, instead of just being a, oh, I'll take pictures when somebody hires me for it. I want to get into taking pictures for myself. I wanted to get into taking pictures of the things that I want to get work in. So with that being said, I went out after doing a lot of research and I found the perfect camera for me. And I'm not gonna lie, it is another older camera. So before we get all up in the air about, oh, he bought a new Sony A7R4, Sony A7 III, no. I got a camera from 2015. Um, it was in my price range. I saved the money for it and I was able to get the camera and the lens for a great deal. And uh, without further ado, let me introduce it to you guys. So this is my new Sony a7R2. Now, this camera came out in 2015, and from 2015 to now, there are hundreds of reviews on this camera, hundreds. Um, there are a bunch of technical reviews, there are a bunch of just real world reviews. I'm gonna be honest with you, you can look all of that stuff up anywhere else, but just to give you a quick overview, 42 megapixel sensor, full frame, um, five axis in-body stabilization, and wait for it, wait for it, 4K 24 frames a second. Yeah, so that was my purchase. Um, I wanted to get into more shooting for myself, as I already said, and getting into studio work. Uh, you see, I usually have a, a light here now, casting a, a really good you know, light on my face, you know, real cool. But um, I wanna get into like strobes and, and things of that nature. So that's gonna take a while, but you know, I'll be learning as things go on. And uh, on top of this, some things that I didn't mention, I actually picked up a new lens, which we're filming on right now. This is the Sony 18 to 105 F4. I originally rented this lens when I went to Atlanta, but I also made a video for it. And I never released it because like, honestly didn't feel like, you know, releasing it. I just didn't like it. But now I actually bought the camera lens. So we own that now. And I also picked up a Viltrox 85 millimeter F1.8, which is, an absolute beast. Now I've shot one project on here. I actually shot a graduation for my girlfriend. Um, and those pictures came out crazy. Now I used the 85 millimeter 1.8 on the A7S to take pictures of my boy and I loved them and they were great. But then once I got this, it was a game changer. Like, like the pictures just came out so crispy and it was like having those extra megapixels allows you to crop into certain things. And even when you go 300 times into looking at the details and looking at everything that you wanna look at, it's not soft focus, but the depth of field was beautiful. You got the bridge in the background and all of these pictures came out exactly how I wanted them to come out. And so from now on, this is my dedicated photo camera. This is my dedicated video camera. And that's enough for this video. Um, you guys have an exceptional day, evening, afternoon, night, whenever you guys decide to watch this. And you will be seeing a little bit more content from me. But until then, see you guys next time. I'm gonna go take some pictures.